Hello, back at it again. Starting up day five of our new supermarket here. And uh, yeah, things are going smoothly. We've got the fridges, we've got the eggs and cheese and milk. People are loving the cheese. And uh, we had a big day yesterday and all our shelves basically got cleaned out. So time to restock. We need just about a bit of everything. A uh, bit of sugar, cereal, coffee, tea, pasta, oil. Might get a box of bread as well. No water left. Need more eggs, need more cheese. So, just about everything. What's in the card already? Might be easier if I start from scratch and just say, yes please, yes. Uh, do I need flour? Yep. Two oils, two pastas, sugar, two bottles, two cheeses, coffee, top up eggs and milk, and to T. Oh, max. Hit the max, am I? I'll start with that and see what's left over. So the next objective is to expand the store with a new section, but I'm just not quite ready for that yet. I'll fill these shelves and just uh, see what's left to do. Good. Pretty excited to expand the store because you can get storage, so I'll be able to actually buy stock in advance and have it, you know, stored in the store. So I can restock shelves on the fly potentially, which will save a lot of a lot of time. Double handling, which would be great. Uh, a bit more pasta. Uh, so this is one example. I'm going to have some leftover pasta here. So can I just? Uh, Put that on the floor. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Bottles of water flew off the shelves. Uh, oh, I was going to change that shelf, wasn't I? That was silly. More water. Go on the bottom shelf here, I guess. Done. So there are a few things I didn't get. I need coffee, I need tea. Coffee, tea, milk, sugar, eggs. No. Coffee, tea, milk, cheese, eggs. Coffee, tea, milk, cheese. Eggs. Oh. Uh oh. Nothing wrong with a bit of floor milk is there. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get two boxes of eggs, did I? The tea was uh, surprisingly popular too. Maybe I need some uh, storage shells, what do you think? put this back in a box? No. no. I'm just trying to find out if there's a way to get things back off the shelf, but I just don't think there is. Um, I'm going to have to just put the milk here, I think. To get it off the floor. I do have a spare shelf. Maybe I can just use that for now for the coffee. What else do we have? Pasta. No room for that. It's fine. Uh, probably should just do a quick price check, make sure everything's still pretty close to the market value. 
I usually round off to the nearest dollar. Sometimes 50 cents if uh, it wouldn't make sense or if customers wouldn't be happy paying a rounded up price. But everything seems pretty spot on there. Got $186 left. I'll check my bills. Okay. 350 to expand. But I do still have that loan that I'm repaying as well. Which is fine. Nine days left of that. I'm just going to open up for another day. Uh, yeah, try and get some more cash in. The next step, obviously, is to expand the store. I will try and get some storage happening as well to avoid this. And I might even need some more shelves soon because I'd like to get everything on a double shelf like this. So currently we've got enough space. As soon as I sell this box of sugar, this can become the coffee double shelf and then this one will become the tea double shelf eventually, I suppose. I would like to organise them and keep them together just for their... Uh, you know, keep them in the categories, but unfortunately I don't think you can actually rearrange what's already put on the shelf. Am I open? Where are my customers? You, get in. Thank you. What are you going to get? Cereal. Cereal. Very good. 3550 change. If you watched the last episode, we did remark on the lack of background music, which is a little bit jarring. I'm still working out what I'm going to do about that if I'm to continue the series. It may not be a big deal. Um, if it bothers you, please let me know, and I can just say about putting some, you know, generic background music in just to uh, fill the void. Faster. What's opened up there near the cereal? Ah, oh, he actually he's just there we go. He's having a big shop, isn't he? Good for me. You. People love the tea. He's getting busy. I have a queue for the first time. You come again. There's a little rush. Starting to see the value of um, are you putting someone on the register? And certainly, people are buying more and they're starting to come in in waves as well. Which, you know, if you've worked retail, you know all about how that seems to happen. Oh, 39. Whoops. That's one accurate thing is, uh, yeah, you, you, seem, you could have a quiet patch and then all of a sudden you get 10 people through the door at the same time and you just think, what are you doing? Like they're all just waiting outside to, to group together. They're deliberately coming in at one time just to make things stressful. I, know, I really don't miss retail. I miss some things. I mean, we've all had those little retail jobs when we, you know, first joined the workforce, I guess. Some stick with it. But, uh... You know, you do miss the human interaction for the most part. When it's pleasant at least. There are some nice people out there. A 
There are a lot of people that aren't very nice as well, but you get that anywhere you go, really. There are shelves looking there pretty good. We need coffees flying off the shelves. No one's touching the milk, really. Oh, I suppose there was a few in this fridge, too. 48.50, that might be the biggest shop I've had yet. How much do I owe? 630. Got off a bit now. Time is it? After five o'clock. Oh, I can pay you. Ah, oh, was I just not repaying my loan? I, I thought it was automatic. Maybe I just haven't been repaying it. <laughs> Let's double check that. I can't tell if I'm in, in advance now. Yeah, maybe. I mean, no. No, I'm not in advance. I've just not been paying. <laughs> Oops. Oh, my. Yep, 255, please. Thank you. It confused me a bit because the early payoff amount hasn't changed. Check out speed run here. The extension three fifty. Might be able to afford that soon. Very dark in here. It's getting late, nearly nine o'clock now. Perfect. No change required. You'll love to see it. It's hit nine o'clock. Might be my last one or two customers. Shelves are empty. What was here? Flour. Flour and coffee all gone. Wow. And this is the other thing that happens in retail. It's closing times. What happens? Everyone just comes in. No, that's fine. I don't want to go home. I'll stay here all night. Gonna leave it there. So, day five done. 28 satisfied customers, no one complained about the price, no one was looking for a stock we didn't have. Made a tidy little profit. Okay, the market price for sugar has gone up. Now closer to $5. So let's charge $5. Don't think I'm going to buy the extension today. I'm going to end my bills first of all. And the rest I'm going to invest in stock. So I need I need a lot. I'm going to get two boxes of tea. Maybe just one. One tea, two coffees, one sugar, two flour. Let's see if I can remember any of this. Because as soon as I say it, it's going out my head. Uh, I was going to do one tea, two coffees, uh, two flour and a sugar. And I think I need two cereal. Start with that. I'm not doing the cereal first. I'm going to do... Put the flour down the bottom, I guess.
we go. More cereal. More flour. Alright, so now I've got the dedicated coffee shelf up here. I hopefully won't run out of that again right away. I'll have two spots for tea. Perfect. And then this will be the cereal shelf. And then I suppose I'll just check the last few products just to make sure nothing else needs topping up. Maybe some bread, maybe some pasta. Bread, pasta, eggs. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, bread. Pasta, eggs. That'll be it, we're going to start a new day. And uh, yeah, hopefully before long we can upgrade the store size, get an expansion, get some storage happening. Done. Everything's looking pretty good. I think so. I've paid my bills. I think I just need to start. Go. No spares this time, but um, everything's pretty well stocked, which is good. Hey, go in there and buy something, will you? Jason Statham, he's going to buy something. Look at him, strutting around like the ultimate chat he is. Straight for some uh, flour, some cereal, and some cereal. Yep, that's the, uh, if you want to look like Jason Statham, have a bag of flour and two boxes of chocolate cereal every day. Don't forget the oil and bread. Sound advice. Thought I might be able to rename the store something, but no, it's just supermarket. And a supermarket it is. These customers just can't stay away, can they? Oh my god. I <laughs> thought it was the same person wearing the same clothes. Uh, 76. Hello. 21. The card, 16.50. Okay, most of the stock's still pretty good. Could probably do with some cheese. Might stop out the eggs again shortly. Bread, coffee. Oh man, she's loving the cheese. Holy moly. Thank you, come again. dollar change. Wondering whether the store layout means anything because they seem to just bounce around the shelves randomly. Sort of wondering if there was like a logical progression but I don't think there is. Beautiful. Need some eggs, need some cheese. I need some oil. Little mini 
you rush there. Uh, cheese, eggs, bread, oil. I got these on the shelves before old mate here comes along. You, uh, cheese. I'm sure. I don't know if these packages get stolen or lost, but I'll bring them in anyway. 17.50, thank you. 50 cents. Three fifty done. Alright, let's talk up some bread. I gotta just, like grab a handful of oil. You're looking so nervous, guy. Relax. Okay, back up to nearly five hundred dollars. Not bad. I feel like I'm not getting ahead too quickly. Maybe the loan was a bad idea. Thought it would fast track me a little bit. No finance sort of history is there, not really. Doesn't go that in depth. Time is it? 6 pm. Can order more if needed. I mean, I'm out of a shelf of sugar. Sugar pasta. Uh, maybe some water soon. Sugar pasta coffee for sure. Thirty-four. Keep trying to type it in my keyboard. It's not working. <laughs> I think I would have learned by now. Um, what was it? Sugar pasta. Coffee. Where's the coffee? There. Yes, ma'am. Thirty-two fifty. So what do we have here? Pasta, sugar, coffee. What else do we need? Oil. Flour again. Bloody hell. So that was last time pretty much everything. Flour, oil. Thank you. Oh, well, I'll finish the... Oh, no, one more customer. Finish the day and do another big restock. The money's looking healthy. Oops. Ah, oh, another customer. Nervous guy. Probably pocketing something every time he comes in here. That's what he looks like. Alright, wrap up day six. 24 satisfied customers. $200 profit, basically. Cereal's down, water and bread is up. 418. I'll happily take that up to four. Uh, 490. I'll stop you down to five. Water is up, though. That's to three, no worries. Alright, coffee, sugar, flour, oil, pasta. Bit of pasta there. I'll purchase that, I won't forget to pay my 
bills. Still got 500 left for stock. I don't think I'm quite at the stage where I need to keep full boxes of stock in reserve to restock during the day. But I think that's not far off the way things are progressing. Certainly seeing more customers, but they're purchasing a lot more at once as well. I just thread a <laughs> thread a half a box of pasta or something. That's okay. Don't know why I did that. Um, I'll get milk, water, cheese, eggs just to have. Milk, water, cheese, eggs. Uh, coffee's good. Might grab a tea as well, actually. Just to cover all the bases. I believe I wasted some stock. I just threw it in the bin. It doesn't fit on the shelf. Just chuck it in the bin. Okay. Plenty of cheese. That should keep people happy. Load it up with water and just the milk now. Place full. Right, I'm going to put one milk right there. Done. Let's move on. $324. Okay. Ah, oh, I need to start the day, don't I? What's this extension worth? Growth. 350. All going well, I might be able to afford that tomorrow. But where are these customers? Come on. You get in there. Buy lots of stuff. You too, suit man. Yeah, I like to see him buying water right after the value goes up. What'll it be? 43, that's a good shop, thank you. Beautiful. Fifty. Lots of people walking around in white suits with white ties and white vests and white shoes. Must be the latest fashion trend here, is it? There's a sound of a car brakes, like just in the ambient noise in this game. Every time I hear it, I look up because I think somebody's in my driveway. Drive me a bit crazy. My teen. Can I overcharge someone on this? 79.50. 70. Nine forty-five. <laughs> oh, ripped him off five dollars. I mean, five cents. Better in my pocket than theirs. I'm providing a valued service to the community. What do they do? They probably do nothing. Probably nothing. We get that on the shelf now.
Where are my customers? He's one. Busy old street, considering there's uh, not much else happening in it. Six oh one. Damn. What about my FPOS fees? I'm entitled to have a percentage for my FPOS fees. Just another way our small business owners are getting screwed. Some of those shells are emptying out pretty quick. Nine fifty. I wonder if it's a bit of a difficulty curve, like if you don't expand your store fast enough to keep up with the increasing demand, do you end up uh, just losing? Losing all your business, getting unhappy customers? Or does it just mean you're not doing like your full potential? 82.50 Need some cereal and some flour, first of all. Yes, everybody loves the flour. She just empty another shelf of that. It did, my goodness. What's the deal? There's lots of little purchases now. Two hours left of game time, 7 p.m. The stock levels should hold. No one should be left looking for something they can't get. It's all very dark in here. I think I can buy more lights as well. I don't know if there's any point to that. Just hit 8 p.m. Still a few people out about. I'll need coffee, oil, flour, cheese, eggs. Coffee, oil, flour, cheese, eggs. Just snuck in before the cutoff. Flower today, just flying out the door.
I hope I can afford that storage now because, um, yeah, very quickly it's getting to the point where I need it. Maybe I just need to jack the prices up on everything. Uh, I'll end the day. Short change one. Oh, that was recorded. <laughs> I got a dirty five cents of profit. Market prices for coffee and water has gone up. I'm going to leave that price there. I'm going to leave them both. I'm passing on the savings to my customers because I'm a good bloke. Let's pay our bills. And I suppose I don't need to do that straight away, but I don't, I'd rather not fall behind. I've got $560 left. And my shelves are pretty stocked. So. Growth. 350 to expand by 4 by 4 meters. What does that give me? Okay. Cool. Does that, does that really help? much I could be like creative and have like back-to-back -back shelving here but then it might be harder to see from a glance what my stock levels are like It's the same, but further away. Can I see the stock levels of this fridge from here? Yes. How about that one? Yes. Okay. I'll just keep some stocking boxes back here. What am I likely to need? I'm gonna see if I can buy any furniture. Can I buy any storage furniture, can I? Small rack. Maybe that's what I need, but no, I'm just gonna start the day. Where'd that space come from? Ah, oh, the inconspicuously uh, blank building next to me. Oh, my sign got bigger too. That's fancy. Right, did I open? Yes, I did. Where the hell are my customers? Get in there and buy some eggs. My big, big empty store. I can move this. Hold up. There we go. I'm going to put it near the door there. Oh, that's red, okay. I'll do that. Oh, then I can't really see the fridge very well. A bit better. Hello, sir. That'll be two dollars change. Thank you. Come again. Can I move this? I can. Here we go, we're in now. I really just wanted to... Find that up there, you've got a clear path out. I can sort of see everything at a glance. Room back here for boxes or storage shelves. Room for another shelf there. And potentially put the fridges on the back wall. Two. I can quickly duck over here, buy stock. Well, I can see some of the shelves, that helps. 
That's a big shop. 38. Quickly restock some of these things. No one's bought any eggs yet. Hello, no change, goodbye. Let me buy some eggs for you. Hey, okay, pasta's low, cereal's low. Pasta, cereal. He's learning up on cheese. Coffee, I could almost get another box. Bread, actually, as well. No change, thank you. 29. We bought some eggs. Can load that up now. 13, thank you. Eggs go on the shelf. Didn't go outside. Can't sneak through there. He loves the sugar. Old bear loves the sugar. Could do some more cheese. Definitely need cereal. Need to do this sooner rather than later now. Um, only got two boxes of cereal. Might be a moment. Did I not get two boxes of cereal? No, I got zero boxes of cereal. Wonderful. in time. He would have been very unhappy if I didn't have his cereal. Hey, okay, pasta. I do wonder if it's possible to like theme your store because obviously at this stage people want everything just because I have the license for it they demand it but what if I wanted to say no I'm just a dairy store I only have cheese and milk would that just piss people off or would they get it because really they shouldn't be coming to a dairy store if they want freaking cereal and I don't have cereal they've got no right to get pissed off Thirteen, but I just don't know if the game is uh, wired that way. What am I missing here? I'm completely out of flour. I need flour. I need. I'll get some tea and cheese. Tea, cheese. Not nine o'clock yet, is it? No, I'll grab that. Stopped up on tea. Stopped up on cheese. I need to get that flour down before people start losing their collective minds over there being no flour in the store. Lucky. 
24.50, thank you. Six, thank you. So it's nine o'clock, so it'll be wrapping up shortly. Done. Oh, body. At least they did. So I load that off there. Cool. Another successful day. Shelves aren't looking too bad. Might start utilizing some of this storage space. And that'll be the way forward. So yeah, I had to order multiple times during the day, so it might be prudent now to have a bit of a backup or another shelf and just have more of each product on there. Saying that, I will leave it there. I think that's day eight done. We just bought the expansion and we're looking to uh, just improve things for the following days. So I'll wrap it up. Thanks again for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please subscribe and leave a like. It helps a lot. If you have any feedback or would like to suggest any games you'd like to see me play, leave a comment in the comment section below. I appreciate it, and I'll get back to everyone who does. So thanks again. I'm Faintly Saintly, and I will see you next time.